Hey, what's up? We're gonna be vlogging a little bit today because me and Adam are in Tokyo. We are in the Harajuku. So we're gonna be taking you guys along with us and we're just gonna hang out, you know? We haven't done this in a while and there's a special reason. So we'll be going into that later, maybe even in another video. Yeah. We're just gonna go a little bura bura. bura, bura. Welcome to another episode of the MJ and Adam Show. That's right. We're the host. My name's MJ. My name's Adam. And hey, everyone, you're going to be joining us in this little vlog we do out on the street, out on location. We're excited for it because it's been a long time. A long time. But we're here in Harajuku right now. We're going to walk down Cat Street and just hang out with us. So please get ready to uh, see what we buy, maybe bump into some friends. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Play a little Kenzama because you always got to have it on you. <laughs> Let's go. Here, Cat Street is not a place I come super often, especially yeah. recently. But hey, it's a weekday. There's not so many people out. It's fairly quiet. Quite quiet compared to usual. Do you usually come out? Cat Street, maybe the other side as well, Ura Harajuku. Okay. I like the fashion side of, of Harajuku and there's a lot of used shops here, which I of course enjoy as some of you may know. The clothing shops here are pretty good because you can find like brand items for less than low price. <laughs> yeah, less than low price. Less than low price. It always surprises me yeah. because, yeah, it's secondhand, yeah. used, but right. it's still expensive. It is. Here's one, probably one of them that I've probably gone to. Buy, sell in Japan? Buy, sell in Japan. So yeah, so that always surprised me. It's like, mm. they're cheap, they're used. What is this? Oh, you never been here before? No. It's the handmade rolled candy. <laughs> handmade rolled candy? <laughs> yeah, they roll it out stretch out the candy and make like these uh kind of rolled <laughs> rolled i don't even know if it's roll candy it's hard candy basically. it's hard candy that's been that's stretched, been stretched there's a design out. there's a design on the inside inside but it's all rolled like they'll roll out the whole design on the inside as well and when you stretch it out it makes the picture on the inside oh my gosh Ooh. this whole cutting thing is like Ooh. it's magical. all dope magical I would like to say that me and you, Adam, have shared a memory here. It goes oh, back yeah. years and years and years ago. When I was getting into Kendama in like 2014, 13, mm -hmm. Adam was getting into Kendama yeah. as well. We were sharing the love, the passion for Kendama, the interest. And there was this big event that was happening that was like a release party. Mm -hmm. There were actual professional Kendama players from overseas. I was like, yo, let's go, let's meet these people, it's gonna be awesome, and as well as get these high-end kendamas. Ja made in Japan. Made in Japan. Japanese kendama. Handmade. Handmade from a famous person. Very famous. Who kind of was an idol in the kendama community. Yes, no, not the idols that I enjoy, no, everyone. Yes. <laughs> but someone that everyone looks up to as, right. a, as a craftsman, someone yes, who made yes. really great kendamas, Mugen Muso. <laughs> They had the release party right here. Mm -hmm. Me and Adam, we finished work and we jumped on the trains and we came out to this, this spot and it was so amazing to right. see. We were like, is there gonna be a lot of people? Maybe not a lot of people. There was exclusive product that was only like a handful right. for the party. We, I wanna pick one of those like bad boys up. We walked through. in thinking we weren't gonna get any. And yes. they were just sitting on the table and then both MJ and I looked at each other and we're like, is this them? Right, we were talking about it. I was yeah. expecting, I'm like, yo, no, it's so dumb. many people yeah. are gonna want this exclusive right. Kendama. And so many people are probably gonna be there at the event because right. there's a lot of uh, pros from overseas coming. So I was thinking in my head, I'm mm. like, how are they going to sell these Kendamas? Right. How, how, what's the procedure? I was expecting them to do like a raffle. Chusen, yeah. Yeah, a Chusen where you pay some money maybe or just take, pick, who people want to buy it because there's only a small handful right. and the people who are lucky enough to get picked can buy it if they'd like. So I'm like, man, we got to get there early. But we get here and there's already a ton, ton of people. Of people outside. So right away, like Adam said, thought it's done. They're going to be all gone. Right. I walk inside and see right on the front <laughs> a table with the kendamas that we wanted to buy. Yeah. And I see a staff. I was like, can we buy these? He's like, oh, yeah. there was a special Sakura Pearl. 
Yeah. There was only 10 available for the event. Right. Me and Adam both wanted one. We get here. Three? There were three on the table. Right. Me and you grab one each. We're like, oh, we can get these sweet. sweet. We pick it up. And then one of like the, the godfathers of American Kendama <laughs> comes over and takes the last one. <laughs> we got there just in time. Just in time. To pick up these Kendamas. I think I got two. I got the Sakura Pearl and the white. From there on, it was just like high energy. We yeah. got what we came for, exactly. one. And now we get to meet all these amazing Kendama players uh, from Japan as well as from overseas. Yeah. And it just partied on until the night. Oh. So it was going down. It was such a great moment in Kendama history, as well as us like on this street. Something that I think we'll both remember. Oh yeah. We're gonna now drop by a friend's shop, see if he's there, yeah. a Kendama shop. I think when I come here, this is definitely a spot that I will always check out because just to say hi to the buds. Yeah. So this is the reason why I come down to Harajuku to hang out with some friends, mm. play a little Dom Sesh and just see what's up. So here we are at the decade shop with our buddy Nobu. Hello, hello. Nobu is the owner of the shop, BMX connecting with fashion, streetwear, as well as, of course, Kendama. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to come out, get some cool threads or possibly get a Kendama, mm. you're in Harajuku, come to the Decade Shop. It's right here off of Cat Street. Say hi to Nobu. Please come to find something new. Yep. And here is a Hitchhiker Gallery. hitchhikers so so many people come so please come and join us check it out <laughs> We are here at Takashi Tendori. All right, everyone, but we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, yeah, it's, we're almost done. We're gonna call it quits. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you had a good time listening to our little story we had, reminiscing about some things, checking out our buddy Nobu's shop. Again, yeah. if you are interested in Kendama in the area, I highly recommend going to hang out Decade 430. It's a really, right. really awesome spot. Nice guy, too. Nice people. Nice oh, crowd. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he speaks English, too. Of yeah. course, yeah. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Thank you all. Like, comment, subscribe to get more. Uh, more information coming. Check out, be ready for the next video. All right. Get in deep. But that's it. We'll see you on the next, next step. step. <laughs>